Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Apparition video. In the last few videos, we showed off all the weapons and all the creatures, and in this one, we're going to be showing off how to get yourself a Rock Drake, and we're also going to be checking out the Tech Saddle, which I haven't checked out yet as well. So, let's just jump straight to it. I know you guys are here to see this. How the hell do you get yourself a Rock Drake? Well, I actually believe that they might actually be some sort of, like, knockout tame or something like that, that they might be really difficult to do. But, uh, it's a little bit more interesting. It's very similar to what we've seen before, in terms of these amazing creatures that come out of these DLCs. You gotta steal eggs! Yeah, uh, exact same as the, uh, Wyvern, and, uh, I'm not exactly sure if we have to give them a special item or something for imprinting, and for feeding and everything, but we're gonna figure that one out. Oh man, if you guys find yourself enjoying this video at any point, go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help me out, and I do appreciate it. And, uh, here we are at what is, I guess, what is the biome? Uh, the Grave of the Lost. Oh, okay, but that's that's kind of terrifying. Uh, we're at the Grave of the Lost, and uh, this is located at these coordinates right here. I'll pull out a map as well. You can kind of see, uh, I don't know if I have the marker on the map. I don't think we do, but I think we're at that giant circle towards the center of the map there, because I haven't explored this whole map yet. So, you guys can see the coordinates. Come in here, and you gotta find yourself some eggs. Now, I can actually see many eggs down here. There's like a bunch of them in these nests on these little crevices on the side here. Now just bear in mind that when you are actually getting one of these things, you're not going to have a rock drake of your own to be able to even come in here. So that makes it even more terrifying. There's tons of nest spots as you can see, like just just absolutely tons of them in here. Like you could come in here and probably come out with like eight or nine of these things if you can manage to kill the rock drakes. Um, there's many spots right here and I believe that is the end of all of the spots. Let's check up here again just really quick. Um, I don't know exactly what's up here. By the way, I do have this Rock Drake on fly because it's a little bit easier to show you guys around and also check out the Rock Drake. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's have a look down here. So, anyway, we've got a bunch of eggs over here. I mean, I'll pull out the GPS again. This is the exact coordinates where this little tiny trench is. Bear in mind, you're gonna need, you're gonna need something big to come in here. Um, getting down here is probably gonna be a big issue because this is really far down. Um, obviously, Aberration is like... You know, it's it's you don't go across the map. You can go up and down in many spots. Um, I don't think the map is. I'm I'm not exactly sure, but I don't think the map is much bigger than um, the island. But I don't think it is in in any way near the size of the island. Anyway, um, but it's mostly like there's stuff below you, there's stuff above you all the time. It's crazy. Like these biomes are just interlocking into each other. But you can see the eggs here in these crazy looking nests built out of rocks and uh, little twigs and everything. And we're gonna hop in here and grab one. Um, Let's do a big turn around here. Obviously, you know, you're not going to have a rock drake. We're going to do this, like, legit at some point. Some legit methods. Oh my god, look at me. I'm, like, looking right at the egg. Look at this. This is crazy. I can't actually get a good... There we go. We have kind of a decent angle there. Uh, so, yeah, you can see the rock drake egg is right here. I've just fallen. <laughs> let, me, let me fly back up here. Um, the rock drake's eggs are in the nest right here, and I don't think they're, like, glitchy like the ones in Scorched, where they can spawn underneath the nest. It looks crazy looking, um, so here we go. Let's pick one of these guys up, and let's get out of here. So, obviously when you pick it up, all of these rock drakes are gonna come after you. Uh, so you gotta make sure that you have some pretty decent gear to be able to defend yourself and get out of here with that egg. But, uh, yeah. Like, this is, this is what's gonna happen to you, essentially. Except you're not gonna have a rock drake of your own to be able to protect yourself. I don't even know, this is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be just insane to try and get out of here. Um, but we are gonna go ahead. I'm not really that used to using this rock drake, and I don't know why I'm flying directly up like that. Uh, let me just go on fly mode. <laughs> I'm just gonna get out of here, guys, and uh, I'll see you outside. We'll try to hatch up this buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of an update here. I'm having a really hard time trying to find a place to actually hatch this thing. I have so many air conditioners down around this thing, and it's just not working. It's, it's like, I don't even know how many you need. Let me, let me get some more here. I mean, like, this is just so confusing. <laughs> I've went from an area that was 20 degrees, then I went to an area that was 10, and now I'm at an area where it's 8, and, like, surely this is actually cold enough. I mean, it needs to be super... super cold, I guess, for this thing to actually hatch. I might... Oh, is it... Oh, I thought it was starting to work there. I might actually have to go to, like, maybe back to the trench where you find these things? I don't even know. We just place down more like oh this is this is impossible <laughs> come on so definitely definitely gonna struggle finding a place to actually hatch this like this should work 
<laughs> there's definitely some trick to this for sure because this is just not working at all uh, so yeah I'm gonna keep searching guys um, right now the spot that we're at let me just pull out a GPS just in case people are curious this is the spot that we're at I'm gonna keep looking but we definitely need colder than eight degrees which is crazy so uh, yeah we're gonna keep going here oh man Okay, moment of truth. We are at the coldest area I could find. It's minus one in the water here. And this thing is still not hatching. Guys, I, I don't know. I don't know how to make it hatch. It's just not hatching. I've tried so many spots and it just won't work. I really, I don't even know what to do at this point. What is that music from? Oh, hey, there's probably some badness out there somewhere. Yeah, probably. This is, this is the coldest spot I could find. In the water, underneath the water, it's minus one. Uh, up here, it's four. I just, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I really, I don't know. Maybe somewhere else in the water here? I, I really just don't know. Um, but I do have some useful information for you guys. To raise one of your rock drakes, you will need what is called Nameless Venom. How do you get this? I assume you kill the alpha nameless creatures. Um, because when you find the name, or I guess when the nameless find you, which are the creatures that come out of the ground, they look like weird rat people, uh, when they find you, um, sometimes if you keep fighting them for long enough, a alpha version will spawn. It's kind of like a pack leader almost type of thing, and I believe that you get it off of them, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. Still figuring the stuff out. As you can see, like, this is so cold down here, even my character would probably be dying right now, and it's still not cold enough to hatch this egg. So, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give up on this one. I will just show you a, a baby, um, rock drake I'll, I'll get when using, uh, cheats, but I, I don't know how to hatch it. I really, like, I've tried everywhere, and I've been running around probably for maybe the best part of an hour trying to find out this stuff for you guys, but, uh, unfortunately I just can't, um, Man, that really sucks. Oh, by the way, if you want to find this area, there's the coordinates. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I really, I, I just don't know. Like, everywhere else is hotter. I, I just can't figure out where you would hatch these dudes, but um, there's obviously some sort of trick to it. I just don't know what it is yet. Either way, Nameless Venom is what you need to actually raise these dudes. Um, if you feed it to them, I assume you also imprint them with it. What's this down here? Maybe, maybe this is colder? Probably not, though. Pro probably not. All right. Well, there's definitely some trick to it for sure, um, because everywhere else is hotter, really. Everywhere else is way hotter. I even went up to the surface, which is dumb because it's extremely hot up there, just to see if that would work up there, but uh, no, <laughs> I just can't figure it out. Either way, let's let's uh, check out this tech saddle for the moment here, and then we'll check out the babies. So let me actually land up here. Gotta get out of uh, fly mode and uh, check out the tech saddle here. So here, let me actually show you the transformation. So. Me. Gamma 3? What are we on? Gamma... Let's go Gamma 4. There we go. You can see a little bit better now. Uh, I think I can pull out one of these guys too. Do I have a glow stick out? There we go. Alright, so, the transformation. Awesome, right? Pretty freaking cool. I like the way they go right up to the chin like that. It's really, really cool. Um, let me put this dude away and uh, let's get some shooting going. So yeah, it's pretty much the same. I mean, it's just a laser saddle. Uh, we've seen these before, but with the rock drake, obviously you can do your whole flying deal. So I'm gonna assume, hey, are those nameless? No, those are chupacabra people. Um, let us, let's do some flying down here maybe and uh, do some like fly shooting. So obviously this will be pretty freaking insane when you are flying one of these guys and shooting around. Like, you could definitely do some really good damage with one of these dudes, and uh, then you turn it off and you could just, like, leap to somewhere, or leap onto the creature that you're shooting at, and then just kill him. Like, it's crazy. This, this tech saddle could be really, really awesome uh, for combat and everything. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It also looks like it has three seats, to be honest, actually. Let me have a little look here. So, uh, boarding. Oh, there's it. Rear seat. Okay, so apparently there's only two seats, but it looks like there would be three. Let me see. I'm gonna fly. It kind of looks like there would be three, but I guess that's not a seat there. Interesting. All right, cool. Let's hop back on here. Uh, so yeah, that is the tech saddle. Really, really cool. Um, obviously, you know, it doesn't really do anything different. It's obviously just a little bit different because it's on a different creature. And 
every single creature that wears a tech saddle has kind of a different way of using it. Like cape jar, you can glide around and, or I could not glide around, like you can strafe around and uh, shoot at a distance. With the Rex, you can run right in and shoot them right in the face. And with this dude, you can pretty much just like do side ambushes and everything. Absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, what the hell is that? Get a little death cache or something. Um, seriously, I'm really disappointed we didn't figure out where to hatch those eggs here today. That really sucks. Uh, let us check out a baby version of these dudes. So uh, give me a sec and we'll be back. So let's turn our rock drake into a baby. Oh, hey. Well, I guess we can see. What do you give me? Do I have anything? How the hell do we extract your venom? All right, well, here is the baby rock drake. Let me get this guy to follow me. <laughs> All right, so we're not gonna be doing any imprinting on this thing, but you can see, look at him. Really, really cool, tiny little guy, oh my god. He's actually, you know, he's pretty big, but like at the same time, he looks super small compared to the normal ones. Oh man, those feathers are adorable and everything. <laughs> Uh, well guys, that is the baby rock drake. We checked out where to find their eggs. We tried to hatch one. I just can't figure it out, guys. Seriously, let me know down below if you know, because I want to figure this out. I want to do this for your, for you guys. Uh, but, um, yeah. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more like this, you can subscribe. And, uh, yeah, check out the other videos. There'll be, there's plenty more coming, so subscribe if you guys want to see any aberration stuff. And I will see you in the next one.